Rahim Assalamu Alaikum uh, in today's tutorial I will teach you how to create a procedural animation using the cloner system in uh, cinema 4d so let's get started okay first we will write some text some ran random text we will come here we will write uh, SSG SSG is uh, Special Services Group of Pakistan. It's a special commandos in Pakistan Army. Okay. So we'll choose some font which has uh, thick edges. I mean thick font. I will just create some space in it. Okay. For now the size is fine and what we want to clone around these splines is a sphere we'll reduce the size of a sphere about somewhat uh, eight and we will add a cloner now and we will add a cloner to the uh, sphere to the cloner okay the next step is we want actually uh, the sphere should be around this object so we will come here to the mode in cloner and we'll choose the object mode and in the object panel here we will add this text okay so you can see now sphere is actually distributed among the this uh, spline outline and we have different options we can have uh, even if we have even and then we can add the and the number of uh, counts so you can see that uh, it's covering the whole spline but for now we'll use the step uh, distribution and we'll reduce the sub step distribution to something like 15 where we can see the whole of the the letters are covered and now we will add some random factor the so as you can see now adding the random it's too much so we'll keep like five 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 so still it's random and still you can see something uh, in fact we'll hide the random now first we will create the animation so for to create the animation what we want is we want it to be one by one it will cover the whole area of the splines so we want one by one so we we don't want all of them to be uh, growing together we want one by one so we'll start we'll switch off this uh, per segment option so now you can see it's it's like a writing style so to create the animation, we'll come here and add the keyframe, frame zero, and then somehow like around 89 or 90. We create another. We'll create, make it 100%, and we create the keyframe here. So now, let's see what is happening. So this is our animation now. But we want it to be like dynamic, uh, growing animation. So to get that effect. We will add a rigid body tag to the sphere. Okay, is rigid body tag symmetric tag rigid bodies? So let's play now. So you can see now, as soon as they are growing, they are falling down because of the gravity. But uh, we want them to be stick to the spline. So for that, we will come here. We we'll select the tag and we we'll come here and increase the follow position. So as you can see now they are still there falling but they are trying to stick to the area. So one more thing we can do is we come to the collision, we add the friction among the balls. Okay, so now we are there. So now we'll switch on our random.
and uh, we increase the number of foot uh, balls. Still, they are falling down, so might be we need to increase this follow position. See now they're trying to stick to the idea. To create a nice effect, we might be should be a little bit faster, so we'll reduce the time of our animation. Okay, yeah, see now. Yeah. Somehow it's working now. I think we need to increase it a little bit more. Yeah, and we'll reduce the size of the spheres so they are more clear. It might be we'll increase the number of spheres. Anyways, so this is a completely procedural setup. Like, if you want to add some other text, like park and come here we can see it's now distributing among so this is actually more clear so we create one material quickly to the luminous channel create a gradient and among the gradient we will choose preset something like this and might be straight away applied to this one and the fall off will keep it circular to create the variation you can duplicate the sphere and might be increase the size of this one so if you want to enhance this effect let's suppose after frame 80 it will come and uh, can keyframe this thing follow position so let's see the effect now so half of them will leave the their place and start falling down so that's all for this tutorial uh, I hope you learned something if you have any question or feedback just let me know and write down some comments below the video thanks for watching